power. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just kidding. You didn't really do anything. So stupid. I, I, I couldn't think of anything else to do with the phone. I could tell you something to do, you do with that phone. <laughs> Listen. Shove that phone. Yep. Jeff from Florida was very gracious to send us some uh, Blue Mountain Coffee. 100% whole bean. No, nope, it's sealed pretty good, Rob. Well, that's the burlap. Thanks, sack. Jeff. That's so the dogs Jeff got can't that smell beautiful the cocaine that Adam's comes family. inside the mm -hmm. coffee. That's we got right. the Pac Man, that's the right. cabaret Pac Man, and we're doing a hook overhaul. He also bought a six million dollar man. Adam's family. Adam's family. You there know, I did you the Adam's family. And then, oh. what's the other game he wanted? Playboy. He's ordered a Playboy. Mm. We haven't done that yet. Thank you, Jeff. That was very mm -hmm. kind of you. And on top of that, this came from Cafe Flesh. It doesn't say who, but Cafe Flushes. What's this? This Bentley belongs to TNT. Now go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Just a surprise with a smile. We'll pretend it's a Bentley. Or maybe not. Smiley face. Maybe tape it to the window if you need to remove it. Lee oh, it's Lee Bartholomew. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> That's good. And we need, it says, uh, sorry, I couldn't think of anything else to bring a smile. And you did. Put that in the back of your purple Audi. Yeah, the purple, pepper Audi. It's an Audi, Audi idiot. Audi. Rob, lift. Oh. Oh, Jesus. That's number one. Actually, related to that, where's that email? I have it around here someplace. Here it is. Brian, who gave us those mugs at Daddy Pop, says, spoiler alert, this video, this is the video we just posted. This video has got it all. Coffee and donuts, old school typing, snoring, swearing, bleeped, hey, the kids are listening, innuendos, sarcasm, camera shakes, eye pokes, slaps, feathering, and a water, and water bottle hits, and even farts, but no shocks. We forgot to do the shock gags. We'll do it in this, this video. Oh, okay. I need more shocks. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more shocks. SNL, cowbell. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Pride, for that. Well, let's start, Rob, because this first part of the video, where's my cheat sheet? I don't even remember what's on there. Here it is. Tic Tac Strike Shuffle Alley and the Topaz Shuffle Alley. And then we'll get started. And then <clears throat> we'll go right from there into Cruising, the USA, and Road Kings. Here we go. This might be a Faces of Death video. Well, he, he has glasses on, I don't. Look. This was on our bargain basement video. Tic Tac Strike. We were going to sell it as is, but it's painted black. Some clod hopper painted the back. But the guy says, no, I want you to recondition it. And baby, it's reconditioned, and it's gorgeous. Look at this mirrored backlash, brand new pin score, new team molding, all the electronics rebuilt, new pins. This is because, Robbie, this is going to get us a thumbs down. This TNT illusion this is the best of the world. We're better than all our competitors. Bang, 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 bang. Look at that. Look, see all the pins coming in? We need to start a game. No, don't even bother. <laughs> How can I do it? The shop is busier than ever. Is Kurt, is the Road King ready for... I thought the Topaz was... 
Wallace, this is supposed to be painted black. Oh, oh you're doing that. Forget it. The topaz is black? I thought there was anything Once the topaz painted black, because the, the, oh, this was a bargain basement, and nobody wanted it in my bargain basement, so somebody bought it retail. But we're painting over this lady. Here's what she did. We sold it to her with the right artwork, like 15 years ago. And she said, this doesn't match my room. So she got her paintbrush. Now look, here's the original color. And she said, oh, let me paint this thing tan. <laughs> And she there whipped the tan paint all over. She even managed to get it on the tea molding. The paint molding. Can we sell that? Look. Go right in the trash. No. My transformer for the Pac-Man game. To the recyclers it goes. Uh, well, I was going to show you rope. You know what? They're doing the final adjustments on this. So how about if we come right back to Road Kings right now? It's beautiful, isn't it, pretty? Blue, uh, the red tea molding, cabinets from painted, new top piece, medium res monitor rebuilt. Beautiful. Side art, great. Even have to do just a little touch of one to make it perfect. Mm. Look what's even in the road case. Look at it. Look at this thing. The paint, somebody had had an off color or something and then they they sealed it. Steven had to repaint all the red. Steven, 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 Steven. He feathered in the red. Now, I gotta show you, never did a road case with all this extra. The strip of lighting here, we got the Comet Pinball fire lights in the back burning away. Okay? He also put um, a fire right here in the burning car. This light has been added here. We're adding that strip to everything now. We got super bright LEDs. We also changed the colors. I have blue flash here and white here. So watch this, look. Isn't that beautiful? We have four red LEDs here. What we did to make them run, we take out the preheat resistor, the 330 ohm resistor. Then they're wired back correctly. You have to change the wiring on it to make it work. This is such a great game. Uh, I think I've told you in other videos, this was selling for about 150 less than the other game that came out at the same time, Pinbot. So the vendors were complaining about getting a cheaper game. Uh, these brand new were under 2000 bucks, where the Pinbot was like $21.99, uh, $22.99, somewhere around there, I don't quite remember. But these were cheaper because it didn't have the extra level that the Pinbot had. And just a way to save some money. It's the only game Williams made where the back glass has the speaker grill in it. And it, the back glass is plexiglass. See, Williams used glass and everything. This just was a very unique way of doing things and a great way too. This was the last game to use their system uh, 11 board with the um, the lesser, um, uh, with the, uh, the red LED. We actually adapted this. What do you think? Kurt, how did you see that? I see it from all the way over here. We had the play field up, and this screw fell out. It's not screw. The nut. It, it was here.
Listen, I gotta tell you something about this game. This is important. If you change the ROMs, this is the only game. See the ROMs here, game ROMs? These two game ROMs, you, they're not the same size. Do you remember what they were, Frank? Yeah. Well, if you have to burn new ROMs. It's just this game, it's any game. You gotta put the right size ROM in it. You gotta so put the right, the right size ROM in it because uh, one of the ROMs is bigger than the other. And the checksum will still read, but the game won't work. And the checksum won't read correctly. Right. It'll read what's on that ROM for That's that correct. size. And, and Frank has this board in here. I just wanted you to let you know. See, this is the newer board that the game is running. The original board had that number on it, the uh, the red number, and so many of them have been ruined with battery damage. Uh, Frank did the power supply here with the new caps too. Look how the door is assembled here. There's your speaker on the door itself, and I thought it worked out great this way. I'm surprised they didn't do more games this way. We've got some blinkers up top here. Very nice, isn't it, Gertie? Tired. What time is it, Frank? Oh my gosh, it's midnight. Can you swing the camera around, please? Please swing the camera around. Here, look. Like that, Frank, please. That's 14 and a half hours. That's it? It's, it's, it's a short day. Well, we have some more stuff to show you. Uh, stuff we filmed. Earlier? No, later. It will be mine. It's Frank, drive away. Start Frank, is car. that you? Start the car. I just sound the glass breaking as I smash it. No! And it already smashed. Oh, God, we got to Yeah, you smashed it driving here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, are you enjoying it so far? No. No. All right, random pinball Rob sent this. Pinball and repair mods. What could be in here? Hopefully tape for your mouth. <laughs> Hopefully tape to jo Todd from Joe. Mm -hmm. Aha! DD, uh, Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Donuts. Wow, Coffee. Very nice. And a letter. <laughs> this, this, you know what? I just got two more thumbs down. People hate it when I get gifts. Todd, I want to thank you for, for plugging my website after showing my television set. Oh, the Royal Rumble. Oh, we got that coming. The Royal Rumble television set mod. I also wanted to thank you for your honest feedback on how the mod interferes with the play field being lifted up. Surprisingly, I didn't get enough feedback from the customers. I don't know if they're afraid of hurting my feelings or what. Anyway, I've updated my design. Yeah, we just moved it, Joe. I, I should have told you. We were able to move that TV forward. down mm -hmm. forward. And we can lift it up. We had to drill a new hole in the plastics to do it. Kurt, you did that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's really good. He's uh, he's drastically it, it changed his opinion of me, me over the past few years. He got in the hobby. It got like worse. Like movies with little money. <laughs> I saw your rooftop video and thought how wasteful. How could you destroy it was so something wasteful. that could be fixed? That's this video. Video number 43. You should say what we wanted to do next. next. Hmm. You son of a beach. I understand <laughs> having a lot of hatred towards you, but then I heard you interviewed uh, on the Coin Box podcast three years ago, talking about the early 80s to today. And I got my bit where it, what hit me biggest when you talked about how back then, because games were so plentiful, how it is sometimes to sell certain projects for any money. And that's true. This is very nice. Um, over the years, I've taken on project machines. I've learned to the value. Everything has value. Your time seems to have much value. And your time never seems to have much value in the hobby. This is true. The market's only willing to pay you so much. And I think everybody's perception of this hobby has changed. Chicago Gaming's remaking all those wonderful new pinball machines. And what was once lost or not enough made can be remedied. And the new play fields, Rob. You saw the CR... Uh, uh, <coughs> CPR playfields are too expensive to justify restoring a game. In comes Outside Edge Hard Tops, the Comet Pinball. Remember that video? Okay. You had none of those options back then, and you did whatever you could to keep the games running. The real enemy of this hobby, ironically, is probably the operators. I in the Congo, when I hear stories of how ops would pull boards from Congo and trash the rest to keep Attack from Mars games going because they were more profitable. That breaks my heart. 
What a napkin world. <laughs> That should have a sound effect to it. <clears throat> okay, thank you. I, I told him there's not enough bones in the stomach. We have to add more of those. It's time to redden your cheeks. <laughs> okay. Lately, I've wondered how useful your videos are. I, I realized how useful your videos were, or where I was going to read it the wrong way. Lately, I wondered how useful your videos are. How useless they are. <laughs> Sightly! <laughs> they're more than just an archive showing games you're working on. While there are pin side threads often with photos, sometimes not everything is shown. I don't know how many times I need to see the boards in the back box. And it's the one thing that nobody ever takes a photo of. Also, like your color LED combination on games. Some people don't like it. Oh. Some people don't like our color combination. Oh. But you know what I say to them? Do you really want to know what I say to them? I say this. <laughs> Give me this. You can say that. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Wow. Andrew's not going to like that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, included is a humble $20. Duncan gift card. I thank you very much. You don't much. need that, do you? I'll treat. Okay. I'll Thanks. treat the boys. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Nice letter. And now we're going to show you the man that got that wonderful Royal Rumble. That's this video here. It's floating. And, <laughs> well, look here. What a nice collection. Posters on the wall, huh? Like them. And a WrestleMania from Stern. That's really nice. A Captain America. I know Captain. Four-player, great game. And this must be Jonathan, Ed's son. No. I like this. Tell Todd, say thanks, Todd. Thanks. Thanks, Todd. Well, thank you very much. Grazie. That was really nice. And I guess we it's got an Operation Wolf I see there, Rob. Yes. And, uh, Didn't we just pick one up position. today? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Now we're back again. We're back live. And we're ready to show one more game, a mechanical pin we got traded in uh, called uh, <laughs> Card Whiz. <laughs> if I had salt, I would have sprinkled it on your... Uh, that horrible blank that face game? that came up. Uh, Whoa. That, game? <laughs> that game is called... <laughs> <laughs> Card Whiz. <laughs> blank. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Top, you know, top you know, the video top card, I posted top the video, card. Rob. Top card. No good golfer gophers. <laughs> well, we posted a video of it. I sent, I put it on Facebook and Craigslist. The video has been viewed 150 times. We've had dozens of inquiries. That was you, 149 of them. Mm -hmm. And no one has come. One guy said, hey, I pick it right up, and I'm on the other side of the country. Get on a train. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody took it. Here mm -hmm. we go. Here's the video. <laughs> now, look at my brother. Now, this is what happened. He took his finger, right? <laughs> and he went this. <laughs> is that what happened? Hmm. He's feathering. <gasps> He's the doctor from I'm Back to the Future. That. Wait a minute. Here, look. Oh, that's it. Oh, look what happened to my game. What are you look. doing? Kids go nuts for top dogs. <laughs> just got this traded in. Top card? Top card, top dog. Same, same. Make sure we're gonna Look, it works. It looks like someone just shopped it. <coughs> what, 1960? Looks like Rob's hair. <laughs> It's got the new LEDs. Well, not. I think there's a lot of bulbs burned out. But listen, this is special. Somebody wants to pull with it. The back looks really nice. The cabinet. <coughs> a lot of bulbs burned out. It's easy to restore. Shop. I think this will be an input, simple one. Here, let's look back here. Easy. Steven is working on Stellar Lure. Oh. I'm exhausted. All right, look. Yeah, you have a rough life. We know. Gottlieb, 
anybody who works in Gottlieb pinball machines, mechanical, say, will agree Gottlieb mechanical pins, single player, are the simplest, easiest to repair. I thought you were going to say suck, but okay. Did I say that out loud? You oh, did. Sorry. It's going to need a new lockdown bolt. No, Clark. no, it doesn't. You have a bolt. The bolt no. holds it down. This is a crap old one. You need a good one. Yeah, not for the price I'm selling it for. This is, and look, we have the original metal back door, the original legs. The artwork on the side is nice. And look, here, watch. We open up the magic door, magic door. The back glass is like perfect. It is gorgeous. Yes, this is just the stuff from the rubber that holds it in there. That's what he tells all the ladies. Now, it's the back glass, the I could sell rubber. the back glass for 300 tomorrow. But then nobody would want the rest of it. So here's the deal. A perfectly good game for restoration. It looks like somebody may have painted this part of the playfield with a putty knife. So you're going to have to do some work on this playfield. <laughs> what a boob. I said look, look. I'm including it, no extra charge. This new Gottlieb lockdown bar system. This bolt goes in. That's a quality item, Clark. This is the best that money can buy. That goes in there, and that'll lock your bar down nice and tight. I can match it up. Okay, now look. I have made this game cheap because I'm desperate. Because, <laughs> as you all know, the, the bankruptcy court is about to take us, Robbie. Where's, Where's your book? Everything. Where's Steven your book? Two. I could throw Stephen in cheap. and and his, cheap. and his feathering paintbrush and a thousand books. Oh my books! Anyway, look. <laughs> what, Rob, you gotta come up with a price because of the play field. A dollar. Five hundred bucks cash. What's that your rate? I'll give you a dollar for it. <laughs> Here, watch. Now watch. She thought I was going to poke him in the eyes. Like but this? I, oh! That's too many pokes for one video. Look, so come great. and get this thing. i got to get this out. I, I can't. I have no room. I have no place to put my soda. I, can, I know where you can put that soda. Tell I'm on a diet. A seafood diet. <laughs> <laughs> A stupid joke. <laughs> and finally, folks, I want to run a music video my daughter made in its entirety. The Great Outdoors. It's the Country Bears Jamboree. It's a song that no longer plays in the show. But Tammy performed it herself. She had the music actually custom arranged and recorded by a man in England. And then she got Byron Berline, the original writer of the song, play the fiddle. So the fiddle you hear is the, he's 82 years old, God bless him, he agreed to be in was, Tammy's video. Was it a genuine Stradivarius? <laughs> yes. It oh. Was. It's really nice. So I want, you, you, please watch the whole video because you're going to get a chance to see me dancing. Oh, and you're so in the video? That. Oh. That's right. That's right. I'm bouncing thumbs down my eyes. Oh. Oh. Now here we go. Might as well turn it off now. All right, one, two, three. If you just been wishing about going fishing and you're still on the shore.
Well, Rob, there's nothing but the great outdoors to ease my soul. <coughs> nice dancing. Did you like that? Mostly first? indoors. Please buy Tammy's album. I appreciate it. You can Plus find it on free. Amazon. Okay, you just type in Tammy Tucky. You can also find it on CD Baby and on iTunes. She would like it if you bought her whole album or just a couple of her yeah, songs. It's at Barnes and Noble. Too. And now, Robbie, I'm afraid it's time to go. Good night. It's dangerous on my show.